Hi, and welcome to the Wine Minute with Jonathan Mitchell, shot in the beautiful rolling hills of Bel Air, California behind me. This is the show where we demystify wine and take some of the pretense out of it. Today I want to talk about Riesling, one of my very favorite wines. Riesling is very versatile, comes in a lot of different price ranges and styles and levels of sweetness. I say give it a chance. It's gotten a pretty bad reputation in America, I think. A lot of us remember the really sweet ones we drank in high school and in college and got sick on. Well, try it again. I spent about $14 and got a great German Riesling. This was the Dr. Lucen Blue Slate Riesling. thought, let's give the Germans a little props. Huh? They've been making Riesling since the 1400s, and I think they know what they're doing. But they're great Rieslings made all around the world. All you need to get started, a glass and some Riesling. How easy is that? Pour a little right in there. You may have noticed I twisted the top off. It's called a Stelvin enclosure, but I call it a twist off, right? Rose by any other name would smell as sweet. And I just twirl that wine a little bit like this. It's a good habit to get into. It opens up a lot of the aromas in the wine for you. You can practice on a table first so you don't spill it all over the place. But then after a while, you can twirl it in the air, and stand up, twirl it on one leg, what have you. And then get your nose right in the glass for a big smell. And it's just got beautiful aromatics. A lot of nice juicy fruit, fresh fruit, things like uh, mandarin orange, grapefruit, lime, lemon, nice citrus fruits but also some stone fruits like peach, apricot, and lychee. Try to make that noise. Try to make embarrassing noises when you taste wine. It just freaks everyone out, but it really helps you to taste through the wine and get through all these great essential flavors. It has a great acidity, by the way, which is something really great about Riesling, which makes it very food friendly because you can pair it with rich and heavier foods, and the acidity is a natural counterpoint to that. So they work well together. And also the sweetness in a Riesling makes it great for hot, spicy foods. Really good to balance that out for you too. Very few wines can work with hot, spicy food. Ethnic foods, um, chili peppers and things like that. But Riesling is beautiful to that effect. Lest you didn't hear how loud and annoying that was. Practice at home in front of a mirror first. Get it down pat. Don't drool all over yourself. And then once you're good at it, Take it out to the party and have some fun. Impress your friends. Anyway, give Rieslings a chance. I think they're great. And like I said, you can spend anywhere from $10, $15 on a bottle to three, dollars $400. So experiment. Get into the price range. You're comfortable. And if you have any wine questions, please feel free to write me anytime at yourwineguy at AOL.com. That's Y-O-U-R-W-I-N-E-G-U-Y, AOL.com. 24-7. I'm always available to answer wine questions for you. Send me your comments from anywhere on the globe and I'm happy to get back to you. Enjoy yourself a Riesling. Invite me over. Let's drink some. Thanks so much for spending your time watching the Wine Minute featuring Jonathan Mitchell. Have a great day.